Hello everybody, this video is going to be all about lists, using lists in HTML. There, there are two main types of lists. There are ordered lists, and there are unordered lists. Let me go ahead and comment this out so that they don't doesn't show up on our page. What I did there, by the way, is I highlighted and hit command um, forward slash, or if you're on a PC, I believe it's control forward slash, and it will comment out anything you have highlighted like that and you can do it again to bring it back in so there are two main types ordered lists and unordered lists ordered lists have numbers unordered lists have bullet points is really the, the main thing between them so let's start off by making an ordered list to make an ordered list the opening and closing tag is ol stands for ordered list and inside you have to put list items which are li so let's say we wanted an ordered list on i don't know colors. So I might do an h1 colors list. And then inside, let me go ahead and just duplicate this. And Adam Command Shift D will duplicate your lines. I'm not sure what it is in Sublime, but I know it does have that functionality. So I might have red, and then blue, and then green. So I have an ordered list. And if I launch this HTML document, Have my colors list so there's the h1 and then i have these and they've got numbers by them i didn't put the numbers here html the browser already automatically does that for me so i've got these ordered lists and i might do an unordered list which is ul just like you would think you still have li's so let's get a few of these we might have um called this one what do we want this one to be h1 um dog types i have breeds of dogs you could have a Labrador, Labrador Retriever, you might have a Chow, you might have a Corgi. Um, so let's save that and refresh and see that really the only difference is that you've got these bullet points instead of these uh, the numbered lists. What's really cool in my opinion is that you can nest these lists. So you can have dog types, you can have colors, so um, for the dog types, inside of Labrador, um, we might have, over here we'll do another list, underneath we might make this one a ordered list if we wanted to, you can mix and match. Li, you might have a Chowbrador, which is actually what I have, his name is Max, and he is jet black and he looks like a fluffy lab. You also might have a Golden Doodle. That's not a Labrador, it's a Golden Retriever, not a Lab Retriever, but whatever, you get the point. So save, refresh, and you notice I have these down here. So I might have a Lab Doodle, is that a thing? Labradoodle? I think that's a thing. Labradoodle, which is a poodle in a Labrador, that's a better one. And you can nest these. Now notice that we've got an unordered list, which has a list item, and, in, and after that list item I have an ordered list. I could have done an unordered list. Oops. Unordered list. And refresh, and it notice how it updates the um, bullets as well. But that's what that's how the nesting works. This right here is an item that's in that's after the Labrador, but it's nested inside of this outer unordered list. So that's just something else to kind of keep in mind. If you can nest these as much as you like, you can go as many levels deep as you want. And that's all there is to it.